first I started off by folding a piece of A4 paper in half like this and then what you want to do is you want to draw a circle onto one side of the paper and I just used a compass to do this but you can use anything circular to draw around if you want to and you can also make it as big or as small as you want and then what I did was I drew a heart in the middle and I also drew on two ears again just using my pencil and you want to make sure that the bottom part of the donut is quite close to the edge of the paper so that way you can easily make two pieces that are connected at the bottom so now on to the next step So next what I did was I coloured the whole donut just using an orange colouring pencil and then I just used a pink pen for the ears and then a brown pen for the details such as the stripes and the face and then I just used an orange pen for the paws And by the way, I was inspired by these squishies that I saw on Google, and I think they're from Cafe Sakura. I'm um, sorry if I said that wrong. So I, I just thought these were really cute, so I decided to make it inspired by these. But you can, of course, do whatever design you want for yours. You don't even have to do the exact same squishy that I'm making. So really you can just do whatever colours and designs you want on yours and also whatever face you want as well. So now on to the next step.
So next what I did was I cut out the shape just using my scissors and I also cut out the heart in the middle and again you want to make sure that it's connected at the bottom like this so that way the two pieces are still together And then once you've done that you want to start colouring the other side and again you can colour it however you want so I'm just going to do that Here's what it looks like once I've finished colouring in the other side of the donut and I just used a brown marker pen for this and then I just used an orange pencil for the tail and again I just used my brown pen for the stripes and also one thing I forgot to mention is if you are using marker pens like me make sure that you unfold the piece of paper and make sure that you're only working on one side so that way it doesn't bleed through onto the other side if that makes sense and then what I did was I just covered the whole thing with clear tape as you can see and I just used this clear parcel tape And then I just cut off the rest of the the, oh, the rest of the tape around the edges just using a craft knife and scissors. Sorry, I couldn't get my words out then. <laughs> and again, I just used these images here as reference when colouring it in. And I also cut out the tape that was over the hearts in the centre as well. So that's what it should look like so far. And now on to the next step. So next what I did was I started taping the two pieces together just using some more clear tape. As you can see. And then you just want to make sure to leave a small opening on one side of the squishy and then it is up to you what you want to use for the filling I decided to use cotton balls but you can use pieces of foam tissue paper or whatever you want and then you just want to tape up the last little bit just using some more clear tape and then you just want to make small slits with your scissors hopefully you can see that and then you just want to fold them over very carefully sorry it's difficult doing it with one hand Oops. So 
basically like that and just want to do that for the rest of the squishy so I'm just going to so here is what the final squishy looks like and as you can see I finished taping it all the way around and also forgot to mention you want to do the same thing for the heart in the middle and mine turned out turned out quite messy as you can probably see because it kept splitting open so I kept trying to fix it with more tape and it just ended up being quite messy and it was quite fiddly but still I think it turned out pretty cute and I really like how the face turned out it's not very squishy but still I'm pretty proud of it and the tape in the middle keeps coming coming apart that not really much I can do about it now because otherwise I'll just keep making it even more messy and again it's up to you how you want to colour yours and you can also make yours whatever size you want So yep, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and as always please feel free to request any more squishy tutorials you would like me to do in the comments below and also please feel free to request any more paper squishy tutorials you would like me to do. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.